Okay, this is something that you're going to get on the final exam, all right? And we're going to start with some basics, proportions, some real basic proportions. Uh, and here's one of them. One half equals three over six. I think everybody knows that. But there's a way to prove it. And the way to prove it is by multiplying this number by that number and that times that and looking to see if they're equal. And they are. One times six is equal to six and two times three equals six. Six equals six. We're done. Now over here. One third equals x over nine. Now in this case, they don't tell you what one of the numbers are. So the easiest way to figure this out, and although this is an easy question, you could do it in your head. The easiest thing to do is just to cross multiply. Cross multiply. And again, you can only do this when it's a fraction equals a fraction. All right? That times that and that times that. So you get nine equals three x, or three x equals nine. So three x equals nine, which you then solve you get x equals 3. Now a real quick look back and you can see that works, right? Because 1 third equals 3 over 9. That's pretty simple. So is everybody clear on that? I could make up, make up another one. Everybody make one up and then let me know. Um, okay, so we go ahead in this one and once we have, a, we have a proportion just like we did up here. There's no difference except for now we have polynomials. There's no difference between this question and that question. We still have an unknown x, but it appears in a few places. So it gets just a little more complicated. But if you follow your basic steps, you stick with it, you're still going to be fine. x times 5x is equal to 5x squared, right? And 7, or we'll write out in full, 7 onto x plus 3, okay, is equal to 7x plus 21. So it's 5x squared equals 7x plus 21, and I'm going to finish it off up here, right? 5x squared equals 7x plus 21. Now, what did we do recently when we had a question like that? How did we solve it? Subtract. You subtracted the 7x and? That's right. So we've got 5x squared minus 7x minus 21 equals 0. Now look for those. Now, um, we subtract, I'll just write this out, minus 7x minus 21, okay? So 5x squared minus 7x minus 21. What are you going to do to solve that? Think about Okay, no, 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 not the x. So we're using, what's happening here is we've gone this far. 5x squared equals 7x plus 21. We've got, we went ahead and cross multiplied here. 5x squared equals 7x plus 21. We would distribute there. Uh, now we solve, we put all the, the, the terms on the left-hand side and leave 0 on the right by subtracting 7x here. That's 21 here. So we're left with 5x squared minus 7x minus 21 equals 0. Now, this is pretty tough to factor, admittedly. So that's why you need the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is best remembered to the tune of Pop Goes the Weasel. That's the easiest thing to do. x equals negative b plus or minus square, square root. root. That's the best way to learn it or remember it. <laughs> uh, so what are these b's and a's and c's? Well, they're simply like this. You've got 5x squared minus 7x minus 21 equals 0. Um, your a term is your first term with the x squared, your coefficient 5. Your b term is your negative 7, the coefficient with the second term, the x term. And your c term is negative 21 right here. So you've just got to make sure you line it up properly. And then you take your coefficients, boom, boom, and boom, and you're fine. All right? So a equals 5, b equals negative 7, c equals negative 21. And now those are what we put in here. We're not dealing with x anymore. And that's the whole point of this. x equals this. And what do we do? We put a equals 5 in. Well, first of all, negative b. b is negative 7. The only tricky thing about these is just as, as it follows. This negative, negative 7. You've got to create that pocket, which is one of the first things we learned in this class. When you're substituting in things, you've got to put them in a pocket. Uh, negative negative 7 plus or minus square root b squared negative 7 squared okay minus 4 ac what's our a and what's our c mike there you go and you create the pockets and it makes it a lot easier because if you don't create the pockets you're liable to go wrong with all these negatives i admit that all these negatives here make it tricky that's true but you've learned a method way, way back to take care of that. And that's the method by creating the pockets, you can deal with that. You really don't have an excuse not to get that. It's simple substitution. But I admit it is tricky. And I, that's why you learn this technique. You've got to learn the technique. We're not going to go there now. 
Um, so this answer is just found by going through it. All right. So I'm just going to erase that now. So negative negative seven equals what, Jessica? What's negative negative seven is? Negative. It's just seven. Okay. A negative times a negative is positive seven. Um, Hazel, what's it's plus or minus, right? The square root of negative seven squared, which equals what? Forty-nine. Minus four times five is negative twenty times negative twenty-one. So that's going to be positive what? Four hundred twenty. Four hundred twenty. No way. <laughs> 425. 20 times 20 is 421. Yeah, it is 420. Oh, and then, man, I wish David was in here. He'd be like, oh, my God, that's a sign. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 105 times 4. It's a sign? Yeah. Dude. Oh. Over 10. All right, so this is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 400 and... 69, I believe, right? Over 10. Now, what's the square root of 4 to 69? Now, you probably need a calculator for that. Does anybody have one? Go ahead and calculate. All right, so we've gone ahead and by calculator, we've figured out the square root of 469. It's 22.6 or 21.6, but we just rounded it to 22. So 7 plus or minus 22 over 10, all right? Which we're now going to just figure out 7 plus 22 over 10 is one of the roots, and 7 minus 22 over 10 is the other. So we've got negative 15 over 10, and this one is equal to 29 over 10. Uh, negative 15 over 10, you reduce it, and that's equal to negative 3 over 2, and this is equal to 29 over 10, which can't be reduced. Those are our two roots, that's our answer. Um, here we go. Sorry about that. That's right. Yeah, in fact, we write our roots like that. Good. Thank you. These are equal to, um, and our roots are negative three over two, and twenty nine over ten. Those are our two solutions. Um, so the quadratic formula is giving you two answers most of the time because of the plus or minus. And this is how you deal with it. Um, 7 plus 22 is 29 over 10. And 7 minus 22 is equal to negative 15 over 10, which reduces to negative 3 over 2. Our answer in the box is negative 3 over 2 and 29 over 10. So uh, practice these tonight. I'll give you some homework on them. Not too much um, because I know you have a lot to review. Uh, and then we'll go over it again tomorrow. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple. A couple easy steps and you're there. Um, let me give you some more examples. So what's our first step? This is a question that's come up from one of the students. Find two numbers whose sum is 101 and whose difference is 45. First of all, what are we going to call the two numbers? X and Y. X and y. So you let one be X and let the other be Y. Let one number be X and let the other uh, be Y. Let the other be Y. Now, since you have X and Y, two number whose sum is 101 would be what? X plus Y is 100. And 1. Now, what about whose difference? X minus Y equals 45. Okay, now you just go ahead and do what? Solve them with what method? Chapter 8. Addition method, right? So you add the two together, you get 2X equals 146 x equals and what's that one what's half of 146 and if x is one if that's 73 then x plus y is 101 so 73 plus y equals 101 you got y equal to uh 20 what 20 28 so there are your two answers 73 and 28 okay Okay, so this involves a little bit from chapter one, a little bit of word problem skills, and chapter eight skills. Remember your chapter eight skills, simultaneous equations, you addition method, and all that. Your homework is 